Oh, I knew this would happen. I'm sorry, I knew. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh no! It's the pig that comes out at night. Oh, 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 Four more contestants have their eye on the goal of becoming the ultimate Bamzuki champions. Let's meet them. Hi, we're Team Eric. Hi, we're Sabretooth Cyclops. Hi, we're Millisby 2.3. Hi, we're Team Star. <laughs> Street race course selected. He's on his way. The authorities are asking citizens to be on the alert for any unusual or suspicious behaviour. Police are searching for a man in his 70s. The individual is understood to be the leader of an underground organisation known as Bamzuki. The secretive group are believed to be behind the recent spate of civil disturbances. That's right, we may be underground, but thousands applied for the chance to take part in this competition. Today, only four teams were brave enough, strong enough, fast enough and agile enough to make it. Let's check out their zooks. In lane one, it's simple. One word says it all, star. In lane two, millispeed 2.3. Something tells me handstands aren't going to be a problem for this suit. Next up, Big Fangs, One Eye. It's Sabretooth Cyclops. And finally, Eric. I love these exotic names. Here we go. Straight away, Sabretooth Cyclops into the lead, but getting tangled up with Eric. Millispeed in third, and Star bringing up the rear. Well, Sabretooth and Eric having a right old ding dong at the front. What is going on there? Well, it's not bothering Star. He's last. Well, Sabretooth has wriggled clear. He's into the lead. Here comes Eric. Well, Eric having a go with Millispeed now. Leave him alone, fella. Sabretooth Cyclops then into this straight, but he keeps sort of tipping up and catching himself on his fangs. Is that going to give Eric there the chance to close the gap? Sabretooth turns well. Here comes Eric, probably turns better. But has he got the speed to catch Sabretooth? Let's see what the gap is. Well, it's a good couple of seconds. Can he close it down? He's going to need Sabretooth to get caught on his fangs, I think, to make any inroads. But that's exactly what's happened there. And look at this. Sabretooth makes a mess of that corner. And Eric has really closed up. This is going to be close. Can Eric catch him before the line? The teams are excited. I'm excited. This is unbelievably clean. Sabretooth just takes it from Eric as they head into the arena. What a race. Millie Speed finishes in third. And I think it's Star in last. But who cares? It was all about Eric and Sabretooth. What a race! So Sabretooth wins the race and with it the right to choose his opponent in the next round. So can I just clarify, Team Sabretooth Cyclops, you won the street race by one tenth of a second. You must be pleased. Yeah, we're really excited and it was so tense at the end. And Team Eric, you had just pitched the post, got it? Well, yeah, but we know that we're just going to win the next one, so we're not that bothered. OK, well, it is still all to play for, so, team captains, walk this way. I've got a feeling it's going to be a very interesting one today. And, uh, Thomas, as winner of the street race, you get to decide who's going to be your first opponent. Here's a quick reminder. So who has Sabretooth Cyclops got his eye on for the head-to-head? -head? What about the bruiser of the bunch, Millie Speed 2.3? Could be Speedy Eric. Star might be the obvious choice, but just because he's slow doesn't mean he hasn't got other strengths. Ah, welcome to BHQ. No, we're not a furniture retail outlet. That stands for Bamzuki Headquarters, and its location is top secret. What's the first rule of Bamzuki? We do not talk about Bamzuki. Correct. If you'd have got that wrong, something unspeakable would have happened, which involves a lot of paperwork later on, which, quite frankly, I do not have time for. 
Too true. So, Thomas, who are you going to choose? Um, we're going to choose Star. Ooh. Interesting choice, Thomas. Why have you gone for Star? Well, we thought because he's quite small and so he might not be strong. He's not particularly fast either. So we think we have a good chance against him. OK, well, let's put that logic to the test, shall we? Feast your eyes on this bad boy. It's Super Sumo, and here is Beastie and Mimi to show you how to play. Super Sumo is about one thing and one thing only. Strength. Show them, Beastie. Ah, looks like uh, Mimi has got the upper hand, which just goes to prove that attitude and manoeuvrability are also important. Push your opponent out of the ring and into the spike pit, and you've won. If both Zooks leave the ring, then the first to fall is out. Ooh, the things he'll do for love. So, Sabretooth Cyclops is going head-to-head -head against Star in Super Sumo. Feeling confident? Yeah. Well, one thing you can rely on on Bamzuki is that it's unpredictable. But I've got a feeling about this. It's the best of three rounds. May the best suit win. Let's go. Sabretooth Cyclops up against Star in round one. Well, it looks like a mismatch. Let's see what happens. Well, straight away, Star has gone and hidden under Sabretooth. We've seen this happen before in sumo. The little Zook hides under the big Zook. Down drop the second row of poles, and they're getting dangerously close to the edge. Who's it going to be? Oh, going to have to take a closer look at that. Well, Star starts to slip, and he's off first, so Sabretooth takes it. Oh. Hey, there you go. That is one to you, Sabretooth Cyclops. Well yes. done. Well so, Barney, this feeling you had, were you right? Yeah, yeah, it's gut instinct. Oh, not just win then? I've got a fast metabolism, can't help it. Anyway, here's round two. Sorry. And this is a round Star's got to get something from, else he's heading for the eliminator. Oh, oh, oh look at this. This is a little more tasty. Star having a right old go at Sabretooth this time. This is more like it. Well, the poles there just keeping them on. This is anyone's. The second row have gone too. They're getting close to the edge. And, well, they both gone again. Play the replay. Well, let's have a look. And, yep, Sabretooth, the size of him means he was last to touch. He's taken yeah! it. Congratulations, mate. Well done. You're going through to the next round. So, unfortunately, Star, you've lost your sparkle and you're shooting off to the Eliminator. Well, Sabretooth hadn't bitten off more than he could chew. He's through. OK, Eric and Millie Speed 2.3. Are you ready for round two? Yeah. Good. Uh, Barney, any yeah. other feelings going on in that gut of yours? You know what? I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, actually. Who says you're ahead? OK, Miss Half Empty. Changing the subject a little bit, it's time to do battle. One of you's going through, one of you's not. Let's go. Eric up against Millispeed 2.3. It's another little versus large in sumo. But hey, look at that, Eric. Clean left over the top of Millispeed there. And now the two zoos circling round each other like prize fighters, trying to push each other to the edge. Well, oh, he's over the top again as the poles go round, but he's got himself out balance and he's been bundled off by Millispeed. Oh, Eliza, Eric was hanging off a dear Zook life at the end there, but just got tipped off first. How are you feeling? Well, we've got another game yet, so I'm not that bothered. That's what we like, a bit of confidence there. Get back mm -hmm. in the game straight away. Mm -hmm. What about you then, Jem? You're going to still sit on the fence? You're going to give us a prediction on this one? Uh, no, I've got an idea. Oh, keeping quiet. What do you think? We're about to find out. We are indeed round two. Uh, off we go. And well, look at this. Eric hitting a little merry-go-round on Millispeed 2.3. That's a novel approach. Is it going to pay off? Well, they're locked together, circling round here. Eric bouncing around quite a lot. He's quite a light zoo. And I think that means he's for the chop because he's been bundled up again. And Millispeed 2.3 takes it. Oh, team Eric, you got thrown around the ring so much then. I think your lightweight body didn't really help you there, did it? You know what that means. We'll be seeing you in the Eliminator alongside Star. 
which means Millie Speed 2.3. Congratulations, you're through to the next round. Yes! yes. Go on! Confirmation that Millie Speed progresses, Eric heads to the Eliminator. OK, teams, things are about to get gladiatorial. Two Zooks enter the Colosseum to battle to the death. And only the Emperor can decide who wins and who loses. All right, Barnabas Caesar, talk about delusions of grandeur. Here is the Eliminator. I give you the pressure pusher. Here's Predator and Peachy to show you how to play. Pressure Pusher is the ultimate test of Zook and Zookster. Shout attack, attack to push the barrel into your opponent's heart and retreat to return home. Pick your moment and attack again. Attack. To win, the barrel must be over the line and you must be safe on your side. Get caught in your opponent's zone when the klaxon goes and you're out. Simple, eh? Well, it would be if you knew how much time you had. from each team, step forward. OK, so it's Star versus Eric in the Eliminator Pressure Pusher. Let's play. <laughs> well, the pressure is on these two now. And no, Eric no. is the first to show. Look at that! He's pushed the barrel clean into Star's heart before Star's even had a chance to get off his starting pad. Well, we know Star is slow and Eric can just relax in his own heart, safe in the knowledge that if the buzzer went now, he'd be safe. He's not even giving Star the chance to get the barrel in his heart. And he retreats. This looks like good tactics from Eric. Doesn't want to get caught on the wrong side of the line. Well, he's attacking again. Not sure he really needs to be there. I'd get out if I were you, Eric. And you've got this one sewn up. Star is so weak, he can hardly push the barrel. Well, here comes Eric again. When's this buzzer going to go? Because actually, somehow, Star, Star's back in this. Eric really needs to get a move on. And there goes the buzzer. Oh, that was close, Eric. That has got to be the closest pressure pusher I think we've ever seen here in the lair. But I can confirm that, Eric, you've won, which means sorry, Star. We've got to say goodbye. You're out of here, dude. It is, of course, a great name for a Zook, Star. You have all been stars. And you know how a star is basically just a big ball of gas, yeah? Just keep that in mind when you watch us say goodbye to you. The power of the mind. So what do you reckon? Was that, uh, was that cool or cruel? Cool. Cool. Well, I know someone who might just disagree with you on that one. It's our resident Zook lover, Dr Vigo. Zooks don't really talk that much, but when they do, they use a super cool, very special language. Very few people can hear it, let alone understand it. But I picked up many different types of Zookish from a very young age, so I can translate. Beastie. Do you have anything at this particular time that you would like to communicate with us? <coughs> wow. Wow. Beastie, I'll stop you there. If I am right, I am detecting in your native tongue a uh, twang of how you say the, uh, the Brummie accent. This is fascinating. Do you have anything else to share with us? <coughs> Carry on. Yes, no, I'll just check what you're saying here. Mm -hmm. If I am right, you're saying something about miniature armadillos with hairy armpits. Deep, deep stuff, Beastie. Do you have anything else you wish to share with the group? Beastie, I, I cannot repeat that, but you should definitely see a doctor. Yeah, I thought you were one. Earlier we saw Sabretooth Cyclops beat Eric by a fang and then turn his attentions to Star in the Super Sumo. No chance, Star. In the other half of the draw, Millie Speed got the better of Eric, leaving the two tiddlers to face the Eliminator. Star wasn't up to it and went home in a puff of smoke. Welcome to level two. And this time, it's all about time because it's time for your time trials. No time like the present, then. 
Here we have Demolition Zook. Here's the beast to show you how to play it. Demolition Zook is a knockdown frenzy against the clock with a twist. Introducing the beast. Pick your zone and call it. Blue. Green. Blue and green, green. are for lightweight. One point of pole. Yellow. Yellow. Something for the middleweights. These babies are five points each. Child's play for the beast. Red. Red. A mighty ten points of pylon. Show them how it's done, beastie. Dimber. Play to your strengths and bring the house down. OK, teams, you each get one go at this. The best two Zooks go through to the finale, leaving the worst Zook, who, I'm sorry, is fired. Uh, wrong show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Team Sabretooth Cyclops, step forward. OK, Thomas, you know your stuff. What score will you be happy with here that you think will secure your place in the finale? About 210, 220. 210, 220. That's what you're aiming for, yeah. to definitely make sure you're going through? Yeah. You sound confident. All right, then, Thomas, let's play Demolition Zook. <laughs> Well, he's set an ambitious target there and heads to blue to get some early points. And now straight to red. Ten points each, remember. Ooh, knocking them down there with his fang. Ooh, well, he's really having to shout some encouragement. Wants him to head over to blue now. Come on, he shouts. Well, maybe he's having to shout because that's what happens when you design a zoot with one eye and no ears. Heading back to red, getting a bit caught there on those poles, but into red, but he's a very low zoot. Manages to knock one down. Heading back to green. A few more points there. They're going to tidy up the last few blues, but he changes his mind. Is that a good idea? Into red, and I, he's too low, I think, the suit to knock over the reds, and time's running out. One last chance with the yellow. No, too late. Oh. Looks like a great score there. You happy with that, Thomas? Uh, yeah, I would have liked a bit more, though. Yeah, you kind of left the yellow section till last. Why was that? Well, we thought we, don't, we didn't get caught in it, because that might mean we don't get as many as the others. Good thinking. OK, well, hopefully you've done enough to get through to the next round. So let's find out who's next. It's round two. Mini Speed 2.3, it's your turn. What's your game plan? Well, we're going to try and go for the big red ones first. OK, best of luck, Flynn. Let's do it. Well, they obviously think the design of this Zook is well suited to knocking over these red poles. And, well, they're proved right to start with. 20 points, I can see there. And now they head over into blue. Now, not as quick as Sabretooth Cyclops, is he, Millie Speed? But he's doing as much damage. And you can see he's sort of double-jointed, isn't he? He bends in the middle there. Interesting design. Well, he hasn't got much ground clearance, though. Getting a bit caught there in the blues. Needs to get out of there quick smart. Well, he's wriggled free. I think he's better off in the reds. Misses those first two. Gets that one. <laughs> Takes the clobbering. That's another ten. And there's another ten. That's good going. Racking up the points, but they're getting stuck now. Again, the low ground clearance coming into play. He's absolutely beached. He's going nowhere. And the time ticks away. Disaster for Millispeed. He's doing so well. Time up. Flynn, Millie Speed, 2.3, got stuck in the red zone there. Do you think he's caused enough damage to score enough points? Uh, yeah, probably. OK. Well, let's find out, shall we? It's time for round three. Street. Harry, two Zooks have stepped forwards and have performed their best to secure their place in the finale. You've got to beat either one of those two teams to go through. Best of luck, mate. Here we go. <laughs> well, it's do or die for Eric here. <laughs> Well, that's a good start, straight into those blues and lots of single points there, that's, that's pretty good. Called over now to green, fights his way out of the blues, eventually does a yes and heads to green, racking up the single points. Is that going to be enough? Well, they decide to go for the big ones in red. A good call because he gets through all those extra greens up on his back legs. Heads into red and seems to miss the ball there. Absolutely missed the lot. Well, back to blue where he knows he can do damage. Is that going to be enough? Or oh, green, red, yellow, make your minds up. They need some big points, they've decided. Into red. 
He's only little, but here, here we go. One down. That's more like it. Two down. This is looking better for Eric now. Only a couple of seconds left. I think he may have done enough. We're about to find out. Wow, another team that avoided the yellow area. What do you reckon, Barney? I think it's too close to call. Well, it's certainly too close to call up top. Sabretooth just pipping Eric, but I'm afraid Millie Speed didn't do enough. Well, to you, Millie Speed 2.3 was a winner. Not to us. Let's zap that zook. <laughs> To be fair, though, I, I think Millie Speed 2.3 got the last laugh there, don't you think, with those spiky legs? I reckon his hand is wrecking after that. Fellas, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Well done for getting this far. You know, Dr Vigo mm. gets himself into a spot of bother from time to time, doesn't he? He's now got a high-profile musical dilemma on his hands. Well, I mean, what is that? It's that time again where I invite celebrity Zook fans to contact me with their discoveries, their facts, or their questions. Today, I am linking up with Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills. Hello, Scott. Hello, Dr. Vigo. Hey. Wow. wow. What is this? You are not Scott Mills. You are Fern Cotton. Yep, in person. Um, hey, I like the T-shirt, Dr. Vigo. Do not flirt with me, please, Fern Cotton. As you know, my heart belongs to my girlfriend, Ursula. I know, I know. Now look, I'm a little bit worried about my Zook, Pee Pee. Um, she loves Radio 1, so I took her to Glastonbury and a few gigs, and she sort of lost her sparkle. Interesting, Fern Cotton. Interesting. What kind of music have you been exposing your Zook to? Um, some chart hits, some indie rockers, you know, just some cool tunes. Oh, you poor creature. Oh, my goodness. Do you not see, Fern Cotton, that your Zook is trying to tell you something? No more indie rubbish. What do you recommend? Aha! If in doubt, try a Romanian classic. Cheeky girls! Cheeky girls. <laughs> Zooks love this stuff. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Well, earlier, Star didn't go far, dawdling extravagantly in the street race, then falling foul of first save with two Cyclops, then Eric in the pressure pusher. Sayonara, Star. Millie Speed 2.3 looked like the perfect bill for demolition duties, but he got caught on a pole. Ooh! So it left Eric and Saber 2 Cyclops to do the damage. Ready for a rerun of that street race? Not many, Penny. Anyone scared of heights? Yeah, a little bit. I was talking to the teams. OK, here we are. Now, smell that fresh air. Take it all in, because our finale is a rooftop obstacle course on a massive scale. Just don't lean over too far. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Here we go. Oh, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Let's take a closer look at the course. Well, from the start, it's up the ramps. Easier said than done. Turn and through the sliding doors, and then into Aerial Alley, which will be under cannon fire. Across the reactor core and into your pipeline, where the traffic will be coming the other way. Get past that, and you've got Snapplejacks nipping at your heels before the final turn and the Colossi. If you can get past them, you're the winner. It's easy. Now, I really don't know how to call this one today because for what Eric lacks in muscle and power, he's quite speedy as well. So, have you got any idea who you think might win this? I don't know. I think it's going to be a very, very close one. If you base it on the street race earlier, yep. there was like one tenth of a second between these two, so it could really go either way. Teams, what do you think? Eliza, what are you thinking about your team and Eric? Uh, I think we'll do all right because we're smaller. We can get past most of the obstacles. Anything in particular that scares you down there? Um, probably those um, cannonballs, bowling ball things. Yeah, they're quite heavy. Could knock you off your feet. OK, how about you, Thomas? What do you think? Um, I think we're going to do OK because there's quite a lot of boulders which we're quite good at um, hitting out of the way. OK. Are you both nervous? You look it. This is going to be a very tight race. Of course, don't forget you are fighting for a place in the series semi-finals. Best of luck. Here we go. Here we go. Well, you could have thrown a blanket over these two in the street race. How's it going to be here on the rooftop? Bit of argy-bargy as they go up the ramp, but it's Sabretooth who turns into the sliding doors first, with Eric giving chase. 
Here come the cannons. How are they going to deal with the poles? Well, they're both so quick. Look at this. They're virtually through before the poles have fallen. And as they go over the reactor core, it's neck and neck. Eric just behind, just as he was in the street race. How are they going to deal with the boulders? Well, they take a bit of a bashing. Eric closes up, but they both got through. Still a tiny gap. And still Sabretooth has the advantage. But he's got a little bit caught up. And Eric's caught him on the ramp as they run down to the Colossus. And oh my goodness, it's close. And Sabretooth goes first. And Eric, where's Eric? Eric's gone. And that means Sabretooth is through and he's won. Oh, Eric. Eric got caught right at the death. They're devastated. But let's hear it for the winner. Well done. Give him a round of applause. Go on, let's give him a cheer. He worked hard. Well done, mate. Well, that was an epic, and Sabretooth Cyclops has guaranteed himself a place in the semis. Team Eric, that was such a close finale. Where did it all go wrong? Um, well, it went wrong really at the start. We had a bad start, and then we got stuck at the house hooks at the end. Well, there is a bit of a lifeline for you guys because the fastest losers from the series will get the chance to go through to the semi-finals. And Eric was indeed a very fast loser. Remember that street race. He's top of the list, which means goodbye, Dizzy. <laughs> you know what, Beastie? You've been on the show quite a bit today. You enjoyed yourself? <laughs> That must have been advanced Zookish, even I didn't understand that. What did he say? He said... <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. Next time, four more Zooks are battling it out for victory. And remember, head to our website for the latest online league action, plus information on the winners and fastest losers. So, if you're mad about Zooks, which show rules? Zooki <laughs> Street Rules! Every time. My Zook and try and make it even better, then why don't you go to the Bamzuki website and type PP into the Finder Zook search box. Have fun! <laughs>